Hey everybody, just back with another video. So I was just uh, having a look at some things that Jugmeet Singh has been saying lately. And uh, I just kind of found it funny and just embarrassing for himself, like usual. So I thought I'd share that with you guys today. So he's got this post here that I just reposted it with a laugh. And it says, actually, there's a video clip here I can show you guys. One second, if you don't mind. He's basically talking about the strikes and whatnot, the, um, the CN rail. Let's have a look at what he's got to say here. I want to send a clear message to Justin Trudeau and the Liberal Party. We will oppose any attempt of the federal government to intervene on behalf of the employer against the workers in what should be a negotiated agreement between the workers and the employer for good wages and safe work conditions. For too long, we have seen liberals and conservatives interfere in these type of labor disputes to the advantage of the employer, to the detriment of the worker. That is wrong, and we will oppose that. We know that liberals have done it and conservatives have done it. You Democrats will always stand on the side of working people to get a fair deal for good wages and for safe work conditions, and that will remain our principal position. Hmm. Now, he's actually got a fair point. Under the liberals and conservatives, I mean, wages have been stagnant for the past 20 years or so. so he's got a point. However, he's propping up the very government that he's that he's ripping apart here. He, he's criticizing the government that he is literally propping up. It, it may he's he's just so out of touch. He's just out of his mind. I mean, it doesn't make any sense. So I posted something else from him, saying the Liberal government's decision to undermine nine thousand three hundred Canadian rail workers with a binding arbitration sends a message to big corporations like CN and CPKC. Being a bad boss pays off. You'd know an awful lot about being a bad boss, wouldn't you, Jugmeet? Justin Trudeau's actions are cowardly, anti-worker, and proof that he will always have, sorry, cave to corporate greed. Again, probably a good point. But when it comes from him, it just sounds ridiculous. The Liberal government's decision the liberal government that he's propping up, he doesn't even have a seat in, a, in the cabinet or a position in Trudeau's cabinet. He didn't negotiate anything. He's just basically saying, hey, I'll prop you up because uh, at least I get some say in some very, like once in a while, the liberals will give Jagmeet Singh something that he wants. Once in a blue moon. But when it comes to things like this, big deal issues like hardworking men and women getting fair wages. Yeah, that's a that's something we should be fighting for. It looks really bad for you when you're the one forcing Canadians to deal with this government. And you can say all you want. Well, if they called an election, the Conservatives would win anyway. Yeah, that's because no one likes you, Jugmeet. And if you have all these great ideas, you got to wonder, why does no one like him? Just a thought. And I'm sure you guys are going to let me know in the comment sections, which I, I always appreciate that. But I mean, just the nerve of this guy who to just come on any platform, whether it's mainstream media or X or TikTok, whatever else he uses, he's just embarrassing himself. Well, no, I'm just calling out the corruption. No, you're propping up the corruption, stupid. And that's why a lot of people did not go to you. When they started leaving the Liberal Party, they did not go to the, to the NDP because they know it's just the same thing. Jugmeet Singh wasn't smart enough to negotiate a cabinet seat or, you know, really any real control, which again, probably shows that he's a bad boss. Cause if you don't know how to negotiate, you're probably a bad boss. I mean, it's just, it's just ridiculous. Not to mention all of the people who are supposedly supporting you, like right here in Hamilton center, Hamilton center probably stays NDP safe, but only maybe. There's a lot of people around here who are pretty tired of the NDPs too, because we have an NDP mayor here in Hamilton. They talk big, a big game, but oh, we're for the middle class, we're for the workers. Yeah, that, that's what they're supposed to be for. If they actually were, they would have taken a lot of votes away from Trudeau and Pierre Polyev and maybe be, even be ahead in the polls right now. In 2015, they got all the way up to being the opposition. And under Jugmeet Singh, that's why well, I don't think it was. I don't think it was him in 2015, although I could be wrong. Definitely fact check me on that. But the best they've seemed to be able to do lately in the past 10 years is get um, to get second place. And yet 10 years ago, Jugmeet Singh wasn't there. He's only been in for six. So yeah, sorry, correct, um, correct myself there. But, you know, like this guy, 
the best they've gotten with this guy is in the last two elections, they've came in third place. Like, eventually, his employees and his people who support him in the NDP, uh, in the NDP party, are going to throw him out on his ass where he deserves, which is what he deserves, sorry. How could you be so weak to be like, okay, I'll prop you up, Justin Trudeau, I'll keep you in power, but I'll take nothing for myself, and I'll take nothing for my party, and nothing for the people who support my party. Just here you go, here's some power, and that's why no one's going back over to the NDP. The liberal vote, the former liberal voters are going conservatives, and obviously the conservative voters are going to stay conservative. Because this guy just doesn't know what he's doing. He's not a viable option. Most people don't like him. I know maybe three or four people that vote for him. Some are going to vote for the Liberals still too, but most people I know are going to vote Conservative. And a lot of them are going to be voting for the first time. So a lot of the, these numbers you're seeing in the polls, I expect an even bigger win for Pierre Polyev because these people who are voting for the first time usually won't take polls. They're going to be voting for Pierre Polyev overwhelmingly. So, I mean, Jugmeet, if, if you want people to take you seriously, Call an election. I know you won't because you want your pension. But then again, you're getting your pension in a few months anyway. So once you get your pension, call the damn election and see what happens. And then maybe after the, that in you know 2029, maybe if you smarten up and start doing the right thing and actually doing what you say you're going to do instead of propping up a tyrannical government, then maybe you can get some people on your side. But not right now. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section about what Jugmeet Singh says compared to what he actually does. I always like reading your guys' comments and, you know, whether it's about this video or really anything else, if you have suggestions on videos you want me to make in the future, you can always throw those to, uh, my way as well. And I'll definitely read those and I'll, I'll see if I can do something about that for you. Um, thanks for uh, watching, guys. I appreciate all of you so much. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. I really appreciate it. And I will be back very shortly with a new video.